Hello, welcome to Abstractors, welcome to Mixed Media. Right, for the program today, I've chosen one of my favorite subjects, as you probably well know, which is the Rock of Gibraltar, uh, for a couple of reasons. Primarily, speed, we don't have much time, and I already have uh, an image that I can use. Um, secondly, it helps me demonstrate mixed media, which is what today's program is about. I'm gonna be using quite a few different techniques in one same painting. And lastly, like I always say, subject matter for me is not a problem. So I'll use a rock as if I was painting a, a flower. It does not matter. Okay, the first thing I want to do, like I've done in, in, a few, in the program before, is transpose an image of the rock very quickly onto my canvas. Before I put the stencil on, I'd like to again show what I've done on the canvas. Like we did last week, I, because I'm going to paint a rock, I went into Wikipedia, the internet, and, and got some generic information on, on the rock. You know, the pillars of Hercules, Kalper, the usual. Uh, I printed it out in a laser printer, A3 in size, to fill up the whole canvas. Why I do it, I've said before, it's just to get rid of the whiteness of the canvas. I hate staring at a blank white canvas. And secondly, some of this background will, will remain there at the, end of the, at the end of the painting. So it would add a, a new or an extra dimension to the painting. And because it is mixed media, this is collage, so it's, it's one of the different medias. Okay, so now I'm going to get the stencil and place it on top. Okay, the stencil is now placed over the painting. And in future programs, I do want to go into how to prepare a stencil. It's quite a, a simple process, but I'd like to uh, dedicate a program just for that. Before we start, the first thing I'd like to emphasize when working with spray, health and safety, you've got to use one of these masks. There are much better ones. I don't use that much spray paint, so I mean, this will do. But if you're going to dedicate yourself to using spray paint, I would recommend getting a proper mask to avoid inhaling all those uh, toxic fumes. So basically, I'm going to put this on now. Black paint, spray paint, acrylic spray paint that dries very quickly. It's black, yeah, I'm just checking that. And this is just going to serve to put the image on the canvas very, very quickly. This um, stencil is so valuable for me. I've done so many paintings using it as a, as a starting point. And it's just purely that. It saves me a lot of time popping the image onto the canvas. Again, I don't have to get it perfectly black. We'll probably draw or paint over it anyway. As you can see there, you see what I like about the letters in the background is that you can see some coming through. This always adds to the mystery of a painting. You'll see something that you hadn't seen before. And I believe art should always have that element of mystery. It should always leave you wondering art and, and, and music and all the arts should always have an element of mystique if you do if you get a painting and instantly you sass it out there's nothing left you see i like what's going on there see you can read the letters coming through now i've got to remove this very carefully or smudge the whole thing although, although i'm not very concerned now i'm going to remove the stencil carefully because i do look after this stencil. Okay, again, I'm using uh, the hair dryer, which I said was a very popular tool. To quickly dry it and get on to the, the next stage, which is defining the image. So, quick dry, and we're ready. Like I said uh, originally, this painting is based on one painting that I did a while ago. 
for my uh, Between the Rock and the Hard Place exhibition. Because it's a painting I've done before, I want to do something I didn't do before. I don't believe, I mean, I read something about Picasso recently which really hit me. And he said that copying in art is inevitable. Copying other artists or basing your work on other artists is inevitable. But copying oneself is absurd and leads to uh, a stagnation of your work. Because at the end of the day, you're just working with a formula, you're, you're recreating what you've done. Precisely because of that, I'm going to do something that I didn't do last time, which is start defining the drawing based on a photograph that I have, and just start defining lines and, and bringing things to the foreground, things to the background. So very quickly, you know, using charcoal, pencil, there are certain things. I mean, these lines have to be purposely uh, uh, rough. This is not a delicate painting. We might do a proper charcoal drawing in a future program. Right now, I'm just using it for a purpose. Uh, you see this uh, notch here, I always like to define, because that's going to come forward. This area there is a darkened area. It's a very old printout, but you can still see it. So that I know that I have to define to make it go into the rock. Then there are areas here that are also a decent amount of shadow. Very quickly, I mean, I'm not concerned about anything at this stage, but I know now that that's going to go further back. Again, this side of the, of the, this angle of the rock, that is slightly protruding forward, not as forward as the notch. There's a lovely area which we've also covered before in the past, and it's like a triangle there. I recommend you guys, every time you come back into Jib from Spain, if you have a, a, digital, a digital camera on you, have a look at the rock carefully, not as what you think the rock is, but what you see, and see the beauty of the shape. It's a lovely shape. I, I'm in love with that shape, which is why I keep on doing it. But look at it, look at it, and analyze it. Okay, this area is always very cold. I don't know, when you go to the north front, obviously in summer, Eastern Beach is lovely, but if you go in winter, the sun doesn't hit that part of the rock and it's always very cold. So I will reflect that in, in the painting. See, that is Sandy Bay, as it were. This is right in front of Eastern Beach. So this area, again, is gonna be pushed back, maybe using a cold color. Just so I know my way around. This is like a, a map. I'm actually defining a map now. Luckily, I had the, the stencil, which has saved me having to draw it all again. For those of you who are not in the know-how, mixed media is, is a very simple terminology. It basically means a mixture of different me uh, uh, medias. For instance, in this case, we're going to use collage, we're going to use...